Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to do a woven rose. For doing a woven rose, you have to mark the center of the flower first. Then you have to draw 5 equal lines of equal length as shown in the video. Now we are going to start to stitch the flower. For doing this flower, we are going to use 12 strands. The number of strands are easily explained in another video whose link is given in the description. So we are going to start the stitching of the flower. First of all, you have to start from one of the lines. You have to start from outside and insert the needle at the center of the flower as shown. Next, you have to go to the next line and do the same. You have to insert the needle at the center at the same point. In this manner, you have to do 5 equal stitches of equal length separated equally from each other as shown in the video. Next you have to pull out the needle from between any two stitches as shown in the video. Next we are going to start the weaving. You can weave in anti clockwise direction or clockwise direction. I am going to weave in anti clockwise direction. First you have to go below the first stitch. Always you have to go below the first stitch. Then you have to go above the next stitch. Then you have to go below the next stitch. then again above the next stitch and below the fifth stitch in this manner you have to go like above the first one below the second one above the third one below the fourth one like that you have to continue weaving of the flower At each turn you have to slightly tighten the flower by slowly pulling the thread Also at each turn you have to make sure that the flower is circular. Woven roses are one of the most basic embroidery flowers. You can do these flowers on your dresses, on your kurtis, on your sweaters, on caps and these are commonly used in doing hoop arts. It is one of the easiest flowers and you can do it on any of the works that you wish to. Keep on weaving the flower until the circle is completely filled. At each point slightly pull the thread. Do not use too much force to pull the thread otherwise it will damage the flower. make sure that you are using 12 strands because the flower should be very thick and circular for the flower to be really circle you have to make sure that the basic stitches which we did in the beginning must be of same size keep on weaving the thread until the base stitches are completely covered Make sure the flower is circular and do not pull the thread with too much strength towards the edges it will again damage the flower Now you can see that the circle is almost filled and the base stitches are covered so you can insert the needle into the cloth as shown and slowly finish the flower To 
finish the back side of the flower, you can cut off the extra thread and tie a knot behind the cloth. While tying the knot, make sure that you are not pulling the thread. Again, if you pull the thread, it can damage the flower. Cut off all the extra thread from behind and make sure that the back side of the cloth is very neat. Next we are going to do the leaf stitch. For leaves also we are going to use 12 strands. The leaf stitch tutorial is given in the description. You can go and check it out. To finish the back side of the leaf also, you can tie a knot on the back side of the cloth and cut off the extra thread. So that's the video guys. If you liked the tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Please share it to your friends. If you want to learn Boolean rows, the tutorial is given in the description. Thank you.